brightness of the cigarette play Good old bittersweet you oh, Still full of spite but with a different name Something's not working, my shadow's returning With that hope Welcome to Joey C. TV, so today we're back at the uh, abandoned hotel. The reason why I'm back here is I wanted to get it one last time. They're about to tear it down. Today I'm with my good friend Joe. Hello. And uh, Joe's first time exploring. and uh, I'm working for free. He's working for free. I got him filming. <laughs> and uh, what's your first uh, impression? Oh, it looks like the apocalypse here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It really is. It's very apocalyptic. It's scary. Anyway, thanks for joining today. Uh, Joe, thanks for coming, man. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah. All right. Thanks, and you guys are coming with you. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. All right, we're walking around my GoPro. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting on my friend Joe to show up. And uh, I'll probably do a lot of filming today. It's like a uh, walking through like a, a zombie apocalypse. What goes through my head? And you could smell, like you could smell so much of this. Look at that burnt-out place. Really, this place is decimated. Like it's amazing what people do. Like why? This looks like it went through like a war. I guess in a way it did. This at one time was the biggest hotel, I think, near Disney uh, at one time. And uh, it fell on hard times. I, I think what I read about it was it needed repairs and they just couldn't keep up with the cost of repairs and uh, led to uh, this building just being, all these, I mean, this whole hotel just being left abandoned what's particularly uh, crazy is that not only is this abandoned but they left everything behind like you think some of the stuff could have been donated or you know Anyway, this battery needs to be changed. I'm gonna let my buddy use this uh, camera. I'll get my other one. I just wanted to, while I was waiting, come in here, get some footage. Look at this madness. Look at the madness in that room. Somebody just slammed the door there, so that's scary. Look at all this paper. somebody that was scary as hell guys <laughs> I mean I'm I'm equipped to take care of myself but you know what nobody's Superman I mean you run into some maniac here I don't care how good you can fight they might be on something uh, fighting somebody with nothing to lose is uh, pretty bad option I don't want to be fighting for my life anyway you see all that writing on the walls like there were papers up everywhere and uh, the writing was like all scribbled out and then like I don't know what it said maybe uh, maybe I'll look back on the camera hopefully we pick something up but uh, as to what it said but it looked like utter madness like can you imagine living in one of these rooms and this is all you got holy cow man
it's hot out too guys today it is stinking hot anyway I'm gonna reset the battery on this like put a new battery in it not reset the battery put a new battery in we're walking in this is my buddy Joe Joe hey, thanks for coming today thank you for inviting me oh man this is gonna be cool like I said it's about to be torn down and uh, what's your first impression? It's it's creepy, right? It's creepy, yeah. So unfortunately, a lot of this this place has succumbed to vandalism, arson. It's uh, sad to see, right? But look up in there, like it's it's turned into this really risky place. Now, before my friend Joe got here today, I was actually filming, and I'm pretty sure somebody slammed the door in there, right next to me. What's all this stuff? Little bottle of like some kind of weird perfume or something. I know. Look at this. Ooh, glass. Look at this, how sad, huh? Wow. Everything's burned down. You need a remote, Joe? <laughs> you know, it's weird, if you look, the remote light is on. The little red light, or at least it looked like it was on. <laughs> I know, right? Careful, man. That's all burned down now. What a disgrace, guys. I mean. Oh snap, there's a car back here. There's a car just pulled in. Not sure what that's all about, but... You hear it? Yes, I saw it, it's a truck. 
They are holding something. Let's go this way. So what's your take on this? Ooh, I don't know. Creepy, creepy. You had no idea that today you'd be coming out and going through this place? Well, I didn't know it was in that uh, condition. It's and you didn't know you're getting put to work with the camera. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's somebody right job. there, man. Yeah, wait, hold on. Just be cautious. There's a man. Yeah, be careful who we run into here. We are not alone here, which makes this extremely uncomfortable. Joe, that was weird, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that old chandelier out there. Isn't that crazy? So, so wasteful, like all this stuff could have been donated, right? Yes. Sold, maybe uh, make a donation to uh, homeless people, something, man. A lot of beds with their mattresses and everything. Right. People are sleeping on the ground out there. Yeah, yeah. This used to be like a big uh, convention center. Look at that, it says they hide in the walls. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to run into anybody who's going to hide in those walls, let me tell you. I keep hearing people. This is for you. Right. Ooh. I definitely heard people in there though, man. That's really sad and yet really scary all at the same time. Wow. I don't know, Joe, this seems like a crazy bad idea. Yes. Maybe it would be cheaper to rebuild. That's why you know, they're turning it down. I think that uh, th there are plans to put something else up here. You know, like a mall or something like that. I'm not sure if it's a mall, but you know, I always wanted to get like a government grant and find out if I could like get some of these places redone and like for underprivileged homeless people. You know, wouldn't that be cool? Yes. There's so much in this world today that like uh, there's so much of waste that we have, and there's so so many people in need. It's shocking that this place was left just like this, without a care. Somebody's been here stealing electrical wires and stuff. I wouldn't go in this one, man. Look at the mold. But sad, look, there's a bottle of ketchup and stuff. I mean, like, somebody had to stay here at one point. Man. Yeah. 
Right? <laughs> Will we ever find our way back home? You could see the sad remains of people being here. I guess we'll try back here, Joe. What do you think? Definitely creepy. There's a mirror here. That's a scary thing in itself, Joe. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys this hotel will be gone um, like I said a lot of people probably have some really good memories here coming on vacation with their families and this is what's left How's the camera holding up? Pretty good? Yep. And this room looks a little different. got such a weird and bad vibe to this place like hmm, creepy as can be man I do use the word creepy a lot don't I I guess there's really no other word I can think of anyway all good things sometimes come to an end and this is the sad end of this place very sad end Joe, creepy is an understatement man just to think, I came here by myself at night. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Insane, right? Joe's, uh, Joe's channel will come out soon now. When it does, I don't think Joe's going to be doing Explore videos, but he'll be doing... Um, what type of videos do you plan on doing? Uh, unboxing, gaming, okay. technology, reviews, car reviews. Oh, that's going to be real cool. Yes. So look for, we'll, we'll look for that when Joe gets that set up. I know he's starting out, so any love you could show him when he does, we'll give you his channel name at that time. And uh, you got to give it up to Joe, man. He he jumped right in. I was like, hey, I'm going to do an Explore video. He's like, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Joe's got some guts, man. Most people go, nah, I'm okay. Uh, it's because it's daytime. <laughs> and, and it is the daytime. This is true. Nighttime, Joe be like, ah, I'm cold. good. <laughs> Joe be like, I have a cold. I'm not, I don't know if I can go. I don't know if I'm feeling well. Ooh, wow. Black mold everywhere, man. Very bad. Yes.
So you can see there's so many buildings. They're all pretty much identical. Every one of them at this point is absolutely decimated. And this is what remains. Like I could almost envision in my head like families coming here at one time and using the pool and getting ready to go to Disney. And Where's the pool? Um, I'd like to say it may be in the middle of this. I'm not sure. Now, Joe, are you going to go with the pool challenge if there's water in there? No, no, thank you. No? <laughs> no. I wonder what this thing is. Look, some kind of tool or something. Yeah. Um, oh, maybe they have, they have Disney theme. I, I, I think they, I don't know if they were affiliated with Disney or worked with Disney, but I know that a lot of people who went to Disney came here. So... They probably used some names to, uh, to, uh, you know, like, uh, use the Disney names as to get some people in here, I'm assuming. Jasmine flower? Maybe. Although it does not smell like jasmine here. <laughs> no. Ah, there's the pool right there, Joe. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, one last look, and uh, if anybody's ever been here in the past and have some memories they like to share, that'd be kind of interesting to read in the comments section. I know I'm a very uh, nostalgic person, and I, I enjoy memories and things that remind me of, of my childhood especially. Bible right there on the desk. Oddly enough, though, the water you could see to the bottom in this, it's, I thought it would be totally green. And these flowers, look, I don't know what kind of flowers, but they're beautiful, huh? That's a nice chair. Yeah, it's still working for this one. Yeah. So clearly you could see that this place is really reached the end of the road. Sadly to say. Yeah. Not anything related to Disney. Look at all the linens left in here. So many. I'm not talking about the linen, and I don't want to change your life. But there's a warm wind blowing the stars around. And I really love to see you tonight. Joe and I were talking about this the other day, like how how wasteful things are, right? Yes, food, buildings, everything. Right. Just wasting, yeah, wasting away. It's starting to rain. Yep. Oh no, yeah, we you have to you have to assume anybody you meet here is up to no good. Just for your own safety. I mean it's okay to leave food for so well there's people walking all over there, bro. Look at that. There was some guy I'm pretty sure I picked up on the camera walking through there, so there could be copper thieves here. I mean people up to no nefar nefarious things. People you don't want to run into, that's for sure. So I think we filmed probably all we could, right? 
Oh, maybe uh, uh, behind that building? I don't know if there are still something like that. We could check. This used to be offices that I went into, Joe, and now they're gone, burned. Yeah. Yep. Do you think it was arson or just accidental fire or something? I think somebody deliberately did it. Yep, there's, there's thieves here right now, bro. Stealing stuff. You hear them breaking stuff up? Yeah. All right, go this way, Joe. So they're you, they're in there probably stealing copper. So there's this uh, car parked over there, and I'm sure they're not here collecting for the United Way. <laughs> no. Is that still recording? Oh wow, okay, all right. 29% All right, let's, uh, we'll do our outro. Joe, thank you for coming, man. Thank you for inviting me. This was definitely uh, an experience, a uh, different type of experience for us. Because uh, Joe never has been on an explorer like this. Nope. My first time. Yep. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining. Today was cool. And uh, thank you, Joe. And I appreciate Joe coming uh, his first time. And also, yes. Joe's from Haiti originally. Yes. And he, he one of the things he, he, him and I talked about was how much waste we have here in the United States. Like, kind of sad, right? Very sad. Could have been used for like helping people, the, the stuff that was left here. I mean, who knows the why of things? Uh, nevertheless, thanks for showing up, Joe. Thank Thanks for working. Yes. And uh, we are going to uh, wrap this video up. It's starting to rain outside, and I think we filmed as much of this place as we can. Plus, there's people here, probably for nefarious reasons. And let's be honest, I don't want to meet those people, do you? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love and peace, guys. Yeah, look, at, I mean, right, this could have been used somehow, some way. Yeah. You know, we beat the rain, Joe. Yes. All right, there's one thing that we got to confess. Joe and I are taking that tube TV, one for each of us, because you know what? We don't have TVs, there you go. Now we do. <laughs> Could you imagine having to have that thing in your house? I don't even know if they'd still work. Would they? I, I think they might still work. Yeah, I guess if you hook yeah. them up to a cable or something, right? Yes, because nowadays TV, they are fragile, but the old one, whew, it lasts forever. Right. I remember our first TV when I was a kid. It was a black and white TV. It was made out of metal. <laughs> <laughs> and it only worked off an antenna. And there were two channels. And if you didn't like what was on either channel, tough luck. Yeah, go outside. Go touch the grass. Exactly. Because uh, that's all you got, man. And the TV was so heavy. Yeah. Even a 19-inch little TV was like 80 pounds. <laughs> Crazy. Guess I just uh, dated myself with my age there. Look up there, though. Doesn't this look like sheer madness? Unbelievable. Crazy. Oof. I don't know, Jill. I don't want to know. It's probably not healthy to breathe in. Let's go. All right. Now I'm lost. I, I think we got to go yes. this way, so we'll go right through Send here. Send help. Send help. <laughs> <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> we might need help. There's the uh, old tennis courts. Look at that. Ooh, yes. Joe, you play tennis, right? No. Nah. No? Nah? In my dreams. Okay. Well, if you ever want to play tennis, I know these courts are available all the time. So we found the tennis courts, and honestly, I mean... They're not, well, they're not good, but they're not as bad as I thought. Look, and there's the, uh, there's the net.
There's another net over there. Hey, look, there's a paint roller. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Huh. And look, there's, a, there's one of the lights that used to be out here. Tennis, anyone? Oh, I think they had a, a, a basketball court as well in this area. They may have, yeah. I love playing tennis, although I'm not a very good tennis player. I'm a pretty decent basketball player. Well, I, I'm a decent ping-pong player. You can try that. It's a, it's a smaller version of tennis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you can try that. Look at the gecko. And it's holding a dragonfly. That's something else, right? Yes. Poor dragonfly. All right. Well, this is it, guys. This is the end of a, an era. Really, if you think about it, it's... Uh, yeah. Before it's running over I